Yo, what's going on everybody? Hope everybody is doing well. Today we're simply going to be going over my favorite loadout in Warframe. Of course, on top of the Warframe and weapons that I'll be going over, I'll also be going over my favorite operator school, my favorite companion, and the mod setup, of course, I like to bring for each respective item. So with all that out the way, let's go ahead and begin starting with my favorite Warframe, which is of course the dragon legend himself, Chroma. I'll never get tired of Chroma. I don't give a damn how much they nerf him. This Warframe right here has literally always been my favorite Warframe since I started playing the game, because even after all the nerfs he's received i'm still able to solo all the hardest content in the game with him my chroma specifically actually has eight forma on top of that i also have five archon shards and they all give me extra critical damage on my melee attacks whenever my energy is over 500 to make chroma even better i ended up replacing his first ability with the helmet ability nourish because it is simply the best helmet ability in the game now this is the mod setup that i currently got on my chroma but this build right here is pretty much the general build that i bring whenever i'm just trying to complete my missions for the week or complete a really difficult mission mission now let's go ahead and go over the weapons for the primary weapon i got the fenmore incarnon i love this weapon and just the concept of incarnon weapons in general and the main reason i love this specific rifle is because of an amazing perk that it gets which is actually called devouring attrition this perk gives you a 50 percent chance to do plus 2000 percent damage on non-critical hits like who literally wouldn't like that and here is the mod setup of course that i got with the fenmore obviously on a weapon like this we're not going to build into crit chance so having more elemental damage as well as just more status is better for a weapon like this that focuses on non-critical hits. The best part about Devouring Attrition is that it works for the regular form and the Incarnon form. So you always have that 50% chance to do 2000% extra damage, which is obviously amazing. For my secondary weapon, I really like the Latum Incarnon. This weapon also has Devouring Attrition on its last perk slot, and the Incarnon form on this weapon does stupid radiation damage, so I absolutely love it. Going from a semi-automatic weapon to a full auto weapon is an absolute badass design and is definitely my preferred way to play. And again, just like the Fenmore and Karnon, this is the mod setup we're rocking, focusing on high status and high elemental damage. And then for my melee weapon, I got the iconic Wado Ichimonji. This Exodia Contagion is all right here is my absolute favorite weapon in the game. Exodia Contagion is obviously the goaded melee arcane for Zaws in particular. 400% extra damage after 30 meters is insane. And the fact that you get a projectile attack on top of that makes this my favorite melee arcane in the game as well. And thanks to this Riven mod, we are able to get even more crit chance and even more more crit damage so we can get more damage overall you love to see it for my operator school i actually really like to rock the zanuric operator school especially as a chroma man right i'm always going to need energy and what better way to passively have energy than to have the zanuric operator school especially because of wellspring and hardened wellspring you just get so much energy back overall and lastly we're going to be talking about my companion my favorite companion is none other than the legend himself rufus rufus is known as a sahasa kubro and the reason sahasa kubros are honestly my favorite companions is because of this mod right here dig with this mod your kubra will be able to actually dig up certain items that you need and these items are actually dependent on what you as an operator need at the time so for a chroma man like myself if i'm low on energy and rufus just so happens to start digging the fact that i have a 270 percent success chance means that rufus can guarantee dig up two energy orbs with a 70 percent chance to dig up a third one and on top of all that i've always loved kubros and the idea of going into battle with a kubro that not only can hold its own but it's just super useful overall has always been my preferred way to play and yeah guys that's pretty much going to be it for this video let me know what you guys think of my favorite loadout down below and i'm really curious to know what your guys's favorite loadout is down below as well obviously this game has been out for a long time we're going past 11 years at this point with all the different types of warframes weapons operator schools and companions in the game there's so many different possible combinations which of course leaves room for various different mains when it comes to weapons and warframes before this video ends real quick just wanted to say thank you guys so much for all the support on the channel you guys have been going absolutely crazy with all the support i really do appreciate all the kind comments and all the positivity and yeah guys that's pretty much going to be it for me keep your head up stay positive and with that being said thanks for watching